Welcome, my beautiful Cancers. Uh, this is your November 2024 Intuitive Tarot reading. Um, it's you, me, and our spirit guides. Uh, that's how I read. Uh, so this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, some of you could have planets in the sign of Cancer. You may be in love with the Cancer. Um, and if that's the case, you know, if you're here checking up on their, their energy, remember that your guides know that. And um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you will also receive messages. So just be open to that. Um, I am doing opposite signs again for November. And for those who maybe are new, who don't know what I mean by that, um, we all have an opposite sign. And... Um, your opposite your opposite sign is Capricorn, and I just did Capricorn's reading, so now I'm going to do yours. And um, what I've been finding is there are a lot of synchronicities between the opposite signs. Another reason why I'm doing an op the opposite sign. Well, first of all, I felt intuitively guided back in September, so I just followed my instinct, and um, now I get it. Like I feel. I feel like there's just so much we can learn from each other. Um, so what I would do is maybe just check out their title and see if it, if it, you know, calls to you at all. If it does, I would watch it. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Um, but anyway, so I'm just loving doing the opposites and it may be something I stick with for a while. Plus, I feel like it, you know, for, you know, I used to go like around the clock, start with the birthday month, the next month, following month. Um, and, you know, if you're on the opposite side of that, sometimes you can wait. It feels like forever for your reading. So this is, this is really great for that also. Like, you know, those who are like at the end of, let's say that calendar month, receiving your reading a little earlier. Um, and I am doing these readings a little earlier because I am going to take a break. Um, just need to like refresh my energy. Um, I may still do a few personal readings, but I feel like I'm just going to take a break other than that. Um, so yeah, now for November, we're also bringing back the major arcanas. And I'm using these as like a bullet point in your reading. Um, we're going to start with these actually. And I shoot for like three to four of them. They can be their own story. But really, um, well, you'll see when you watch a reading, I feel like they just relate to your main spread um, very well. So we're going to bring in the major arcanas again. Of course, we are going to use... I hate to say use, we're going to take Mother Mary's words of wisdom, um, but we're going to do this at the end of the reading for November. So we'll put them right over here. I brought the romance angels out just in case we move into the love arena, um, which is most readings because, you know, when I do a reading, I, I'm reading life. You know what I mean? Like life, your money, your love issues, you know, the the potentials that are coming up. So love comes up a lot. So I'm going to bring the romance angels if need be, which I have a feeling it will, we will need to. And then for your clarifiers or really to go deeper, this is one of the reasons why my readings are long is I do like to go deep. You know, it could be the Virgo in me, like the psychic detective, um, but I'd like to give you clear answers before you leave a reading. Um, though you do need to have a little patience, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Some prefer those short little readings, but it's just not who I am. It's just not how I read. Um, and I feel like, you know, it wouldn't serve you for me to not to be true to myself, if that makes sense. So anyways, Gilded Chiro, we will go deeper. We'll get solutions, answers. Um, and for your main spread, we're using the Psychic Tarot. Now, I have to say I'm using the same decks that I use for Capricorn. Uh, so every opposite signs are getting the same decks, different decks for different, you know, 
different opposite signs, but for you and Capricorn. Capricorn, I use the Psychic Tarot, so I'm going to use it for you. And I just say, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and open up this reading. I'm going to go ahead and give everything a couple shuffles, though many of you know I do pre-shuffle my cards. This is when I'm really reflecting upon you. This is when I'm really opening myself up. So, let's go ahead and bring the lid down. There we go. Let's begin. Cancer. Um, you know, I am right with my moon. I'm right on the cusp of Gemini and Cancer. And I do feel like I carry both those energies. And I'm grateful. I'm very grateful for those energies also. Start with judgment. So judgment is your spiritual team. Um, judgment is is calling you to the present moment. You know, look at the size of that trumpet. Like hard to ignore that, right? It's being you're being called. You're being called to the present moment. Um, judgment's about some type of rebirth that's about to take place. Also, you know, when I see judgment, I think about signs. And, you know, your spirit guides who are, are always sending you signs. Many times we ignore those signs, you know. That's just our human nature. So they'll send another sign. And they'll send it bigger um, to the point where you can't really ignore it. But you do have free will. So keep that in mind. But listen, I feel like if our spiritual team wants us in the present moment because there's some type of sign uh, that talks about a rebirth, then... I'm going to be in the present moment. So that's how we open up with judgment, your spiritual team. Well, okay, we got a few, but you know what? I am going to take them, especially because they're all face up. We have the strength card. Um, card of Leo, though. I don't really, I'm not really reading these as people, but I will give you the sign anyways. Uh, we have the devil. So there's your opposite, card of Capricorn. We have, well, hello, lovers. There's your neighbor, Gemini. Um, but this is about a head over heart decision. You know, do I follow my head or do I follow my heart? Sitting right next to the devil. Now, again, it could just represent Capricorn, but it could talk about temptations also. You know, I love this, the image here in this deck for the lovers, because a lot of times you'll see, you know, actually in the devil's um, energy, maybe in the psychic tarot, there's quite a few decks where it shows the devil's influence over the lovers. And to me, it talks about illusionary energy, you know, like, you know, energy where, I don't know, it's just like, you know, the devil can talk about temptation. Um, and is it a good thing or is it not? And that may be why, again, judgment being the very first card really needs your attention so it can help guide you. Um, but the lover's. Head of a hard decision. But you know, look at Cupid. Cupid's like influencing these lovers. So I don't feel like the devil's energy is really influencing this energy, but we'll we'll see. We have the magician. Okay, let's slide these all up. The magician, the manifester. He's looking right at the lovers. Looking right at the lovers. We have temperance. Temperance talks about patience. But it also talks about divine timing. 
Now, because judgment is here, I felt like the time of patience is coming to an end and something must be opening up that, you know, I would say would be divine. I often feel in Empress's energy, you know, you can see her, she's got these two cups, right? And I often feel this is soulmate energy. And I feel like she is making sure that both of these cups are equally filled. So I like her in the same line with the lovers. And then we have justice. So a lot more cards than I planned on taking, but I feel like they all want to be here and I'm not going to refuse them. Justice. Card of Libra. By the way, temperance, card of Sagittarius. Um, but justice is really about, you know, making you whole again. It can talk about certain ties that you've cut. Um, and I feel like that may relate back to the strength cards. You know, there may have been certain things or certain people, certain energy that you've been tempted towards that really hasn't worked out in your favor, I feel like. Um, and again, you know, cutting through the illusions. The truth is the truth. You know, I love judgment and temperance being here because both are divine energy and both can give us a clue on like timing. So judgment, it's now, it's the present moment. Um, it is about a rebirth. There is something that you've overcome. You know, it's like the strength card to me is because I was willing to go deep, look within myself. Um, you know, what what energy pulls to me that maybe is of a negative nature, but yet I keep going towards it. You know, it's the overcoming of something within yourself. It can talk about addictions, um, especially sitting next to the devil. Again, temptations that maybe are not serving you. But I feel like the strength card means that you've really overcome something already. Otherwise, I don't feel like judgment would be the first card. So it feels to me like you've done some work. You, you've probably cut some ties. Justice over here, mirroring judgment, is telling me that, you know, certain ties were cut. But I feel like with cutting of those ties, and again, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be energetic. You know what I mean? Like maybe my own thought system. You know, I feel like with the lovers right in the middle of, of this spread right now, you know, it can certainly talk about a period of time where you just kept like running into the same type of people. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, I don't know, because I feel like it's more than just love. I feel like it could be a group of friends. Um, But as I say that, I feel like I feel like that energy's already happened. So I feel like you've already cut these ties. I feel like the lovers is representing, yes, a head over heart decision. But that means that the lovers must be coming in, right? Because you are ultimately making a decision here. But then the magician looking right at the lovers, the manifester, you know, the, the fool's greatest mentor along any new journey and the ju and judgment would represent like some type of rebirth um you know something new that's opening up divine timing you know first patience with temperance but i feel like again with judgment here the time for patience has come and gone and now this is about the current moment energy okay that's a lot of cards Let's go ahead and bring in the psychic churro and um, it'll let us know. Let's give him a cut. So people, if we have to look at these people, we have um, Leo, Capricorn, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Libra. Though, in a way, I kind of want you to forget all that. <laughs> all 
All right. Let's go ahead and begin the main spread. Look at this. Well, hello, lovers. Your first card. Here is called Harmony. We have the Ace of Wands. Well, that kind of feels like you're taking um, judgments advice and you are bringing yourself to the current moment. You know, what I love about the Ace of Wands is it's, it. how do I want to say this? It's, um, well, passion ignited. So it's like something you're going to feel. It's like your heart chakra is being open. It's like being cracked open. Um, it's allowing passion to come in whether I'm ready or not. <laughs> and that could be, again, with the lovers, like ahead of a hard decision. But look at this person's heart chakra. We have financial and material changes. And number five. So changes, that's exactly what a five means. Hmm. We have the nine of cups. Beautiful. So... The, uh, here it calls it, it names it fulfillment of wishes. And by the way, wishes, not just a wish, wishes. And it's like your spiritual team is getting you ready. You know, the Nine of Cups to me speaks about inner harmony, first and foremost. Um, it's where, you know, I'm starting to like my life again. Doesn't mean everything is perfect, but. I'm finding my own harmony within it. And, you know, it can talk about, especially with justice here, like some of you becoming single, or maybe you've been single for a little while. But, you know, in this energy, I'm okay with that. Um, and really, it is the perfect energy if, if, like, love is entering. This is really the perfect energy to accept it. And then we have the strength card again. So double Gemini, double Leo on the board. We have the strength card mirroring the lovers, which here it's called harmony. Hmm. Strength card is also coming under justice and you know it's interesting because i often feel in the strength card that when i do like look within myself because that's really what it's about you know like just kind of analyzing oneself but not judging you're not judging yourself you're just analyzing like what energy have i been pulled to or tempted to and what energy was just no longer serving me? Um, and then I love how the strength card then turns into power, you know, courage. And it's coming under justice. Eight is also about a new beginning. So you have a change and you have a new beginning. But you also have fulfillment of wishes, again, with the lovers opening up and then the heart chakra being activated. That kind of feels meant to be. Look at that, another Leo card. So triple Leo on the board. Sacrifice. And then obstacles and challenges, another five. Kind of feels like, um, you know, I feel like something may not have worked out in your favor, or at least that's how you felt about it. Like it wasn't working out in my favor, but the truth is I feel like it was working out in your favor. Um, it can talk about again, cutting your ties with people or someone, um, 
you know, like it could talk about love because, again, it's mirroring the lovers. But it can also talk about like, you know, people around me. It feels like this was not an easy um, journey to get to this point. You know, I feel like there's a lot of things I needed to clear up. And some of them are within myself. Um, obstacles and challenges down here. Next to sacrifice. Interesting because that is mirroring the devil. But yet. The ace of wands in between that. So I feel like this is you. This is you accepting some type of change. This is you with the ability to overcome. Like whatever obstacles were put in your way. Listen, sometimes these obstacles may have been put in your way because maybe you were like, you know, walking this path and you started to take a left when your guys are like, no, take a right, take a right. So it's almost like you're being redirected. But for your betterment. Hello, Ace of Cups. Love begins. And look what it's mirroring, the lovers. This can talk about new love. It could certainly talk about old love, past life love. Um, because we have so much divine energy on the board. Love begins mirroring the lovers. You know, financial material changes in between the two of them. So interesting. I'm, I'm wondering if that has anything to do with this sacrifice over here. Let's keep going. Uh, look at this. Two nines together. Um, by the way, that's something that I saw within Capricorn's reading. A lot of synchronicities within the numbers. So two nines. First nine is the nine of cups. Inner harmony, fulfillment of wishes. I feel like, you know, this is the hermit's energy. And I feel like this is probably what brought us to the current energy. Solitude. Um, you know, I feel like the hermit is definitely seeking answers. And I definitely feel the hermit receives those answers. I feel like this talks about a wise old soul. Like, there's nothing that you're going through that you haven't already been through. So it's almost like using that wisdom. Um, and I also feel in the, in the Hermit's energy that if, if I'm really looking for someone to come in and help save my life, what I realize is I am my own savior. Nines are always about reflection, but final reflection so some of you, you know, it's like maybe you've been alone for a little while and maybe that's just been fine. You know, again, maybe you cut ties back here with someone and now you're alone, single. Oh, my. So soulmates, this one says spiritual union right next to the hermit carter virgo by the way and coming under power and then we have the light holy leo <laughs> so this is leo's ruler but here's the thing to me when the sun comes out in a reading Especially if this is relating to love, where a lot of times our fear lies. Like, you know, I don't want to be hurt again. I don't want to be cheated on. I don't want to deal with anyone in lower vibrational energy. Right? And especially if you've been working on yourself, like, you know, and when I say working on yourself, I mean, like, reflecting back, understanding, like, certain chapters. Sometimes we look back and we can see that, certain things that ended 
um, maybe at the time we didn't understand, like, why, why? But it's because, it's because you're getting ready for something new. So the light is the illuminator. To me, this is a very mm, happy time in life. And look what is coming out with the Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy. But here's the thing. The sun came out first. I feel like what this is saying to you is if you are worried about taking a step forward, you know, maybe you meet someone new or even someone who is old but new again. Um, and one of your worries is can... You know, will this person be truthful and honest and love me and not cheat on me, um, not lie to me, like be honest with me? Well, when the sun comes first, with that, whatever is done in the dark will come to the light, period. So I feel like this is more to help ease your mind than talking about an actual person moving forward. Now, you probably have dealt with this energy before. But again, the sun's illuminating that for you. And that may be why you use the, the sword of justice, right? To cut those ties to people who just carry deceptive and, and, and envious type of energy. You know, they call this the thief in the night. I feel like it's someone who lies a lot. And therefore, I have a hard time believing anything that comes out of their mouth. But let's not focus too much on this because I feel like the sun is saying to you you don't have to worry about this because again if something is done in the dark it will come to the light very quickly but I don't feel like I don't feel like this is talking about anything you know like if it's talking about love I don't feel like it's talking about anybody I need to worry about um I feel more this may just be a worry that you may carry you know which is normal like, I've been there, I've done that, you know, I'm starting to enjoy my life. <clears throat> you know, even being single, let's say. Um, and then lo and behold, you know, here comes the lovers. Judgment is saying, be ready, there is a rebirth coming. The lovers mirroring down here, the soulmate union. Not just soulmates, but soulmate union. And then the Ace of Cups right in the middle that's mirroring the lovers. Wow. On the bottom of the deck, we have firm foundation. I kind of feel like that's what some of you have been doing is firming up that foundation. You know, getting grounded feeling strong within your own two feet. Um, just look how muscular this person is. You know, to me, it represents spiritual muscles. Okay, let's slide those up and put that right there. So before I bring out the clarifiers, let me just give this another look. You know, I feel like for a few of you, this could certainly talk about someone that you already know. And there may have been something that came in between the two of you. And maybe there was no control over that. You know what I mean? Like, like things went south. But I feel, I do feel kind of like the devil's energy over that. But I also have to say, with the strength card here, twice, um, you know, I have to know my part. And this is not to put blame on you. This is just to know your part. Like, how am I in love? You know, can I give what it is that I want? Am I ready for that? Am I open to receiving love? You know, the Ace of Cups is like, love begins. 
Yeah, it's interesting because sacrifice is mirroring the soulmate union over here. So I feel like something came in between that. But yet it's, you know, obstacles and challenges came between these soulmates. But I feel like judgment is saying, but, you know, and again, it speaks about a rebirth. So this could be like literally a rebirth of lovers, um, whether it be this lifetime or past lifetimes. You know, sometimes in past lifetimes, we may have come together to like complete a certain mission, but then we don't. You know, maybe it was just to come together, but then life got in the way. So we come back, we come back into this lifetime and it's like, okay, well, let's try it again. Let's see if we can find each other again. I just want to look under this movement choices and decisions. So head of a hard decision. Love begins. Literally says soulmate union. Fulfillment of wishes after a period of time was solitude. But I feel like that energy is what's ending. And I don't know, love is entering. You know, we cannot deny the love that's on the board right now. I feel like temperance also, which speaks about divine timing. Because she's right next to justice, again, the cutting of certain ties is really what opens everything up, what really what takes you from patience to now is the time. And then the magician, the power of the magician, the power to manifest coming right under or right above fulfillment of wishes, your power and manifesting. And in the hermit's energy, I feel like that's what you learn. You know, sometimes, yes, I have to go through the dark night of the soul. But what did I learn from that? What has it taught me? How have I evolved because of that? Some of you could be in a current relationship and it's just not going well. Um, or let's just say, you know, maybe you're hanging on to someone's energy like you know hoping and wishing that they were going to make a return i'm not going to say that they don't but here's the thing i feel like this love that's sitting at the, on the table right now feels um hmm, feels of a high like like a high vibrational type of love especially with judgment being the very first card Right, calling you to the present moment, the ace of wands, passion ignited. So it's almost like I can feel this energy. It definitely using your spirituality and your intuition. You know, sometimes it's like I feel something good's gonna happen. I just feel it, but I may not know what it is yet. Okay, let's go ahead and bring in the Gilda Tarot, and then we will bring in the Romance Angels. It's definitely calling for it. Let's start with the Gilded Tarot. Let's give it one more shuffle. I like a nice clean shuffle. Perfect. All right, let's give them a cut, introduce them into the reading. And I feel like these wanted to come out. The Three of Cups. Beautiful. So what does the Three of Cups tell you? It talks about something that you're going to be celebrating. It's the energy of joy. Um, and I love that it's coming over judgment and the lovers. So this is nothing I have to like run from. It really does. It you know. I feel like it's gonna. It, it, it's just gonna be joyous energy. Again, a reason to celebrate. We have the death card, card of Scorpio. This is about closing old doors. 
so that a new door can open. You know, it's very much like judgment that talks about a rebirth. I feel like that's one of the things we really have to learn to do is know when something is over, when it's run its course, and then close that door. It's to me like a sign to the universe that I'm ready for what's next. Right over passion ignited. Also the strength card. But also um, obstacles and challenges. So it feels like that energy, which is probably the most difficult energy on the board right now. You know, and it may feel like for some of you, like I had to sacrifice one to open myself up to what feels like true love. Again, if like anyone's like kept me hanging on the hook type of energy, then I feel like you're, you're just saying no longer, right? Like either love me or don't love me, but don't keep me hanging on the hook. We have the hangman. You know, it's funny. I mean, I shouldn't laugh, but I feel like what this is saying is there is a pause until that door closes. It's almost like one door, this next door cannot open until the previous door has been closed. But once you close that door, I feel like that flips the hangman right around, which means movement. You know, some of you could have been in a relationship where um, literally your money was tied together. Um, you know, you could have lived together. But yet still, I feel like there's a sense of uncertainty, a sense of like not feeling fulfilled. And I guess it really is going to be, it really is up to you, you know, whether you decide to close that door when you say enough is enough. Again, judgment and the death card are both asking you to at least consider that. Interesting how the hangman is right in between the lovers and love begins. So, literally, I feel like certain doors have to close. Maybe I am sacrificing one, but I feel like if I'm sacrificing one, then I'm sacrificing because they haven't played their part. You know what I mean? Like they haven't been great with me or to me. Um, and I also feel this can talk about like certain energy that you probably know yourself needs to be cleared. You know, it's like telling the universe, okay, I'm open. Doesn't even have to say I'm saying I want love, but I'm open to whatever gifts and blessings that are meant to come my way. I'm open to it. You know, I like the death card. Um, first of all, coming ever passion ignited, that should give you another reason to consider closing that door. But I also like it because I feel like what it's saying is the period of time when there just feels like there was a lot of obstacles and challenges in your way. It feels like the, like the tides are changing now, or at least the opportunity for them to change is coming. Remember, the hangman really is seeking wisdom. Like, give me wisdom. But for this physical plane, like, what, what's the next steps I should take? Well, your spiritual team is saying, close these old doors. You know, know when a chapter is over. Especially if you were dealing with, like, anyone um, in the Seven of Swords, deception and envy. Why do I want to keep that door open? You know, I get it because sometimes 
even when we're not being treated well, it's still hard to close that door. But, boy, do I feel like, boy, do I feel like it would serve you. All right. Look at this, the Nine of Cups, right over the Nine of Cups. Could talk about two people now. Both, maybe both becoming single around the same time. Both living, like both having this inner harmony. I feel it's important for you to find this inner harmony. And if you're like, well, how can I find it? You got to go within. You know, ask your spiritual team to, like, make the signs very clear for you. But I kind of feel you're get, like this is getting you ready for someone who probably, um, probably mirrors you in some way. And then we have the devil over the strength card. So we had double Capricorn. But yet, the devil is touching justice and also power, the strength card. So the devil certainly can speak about temptations. But it can be, you know, it's interesting because I'm looking at the devil that's mirroring the three of cups. And I could talk about someone that you're with who um, could have drank a lot. Again, it could be, you know, energy where someone is just tempted to lower vibrational energy. And maybe they're fine in that energy, but I don't feel you are. You know, I feel like you're saying, but I want more out of my life. And by the way, this is not just a love reading. I feel like what this is talking about, it definitely is talking about love, but I feel like it's also talking about you feeling good within your life again. You know what I mean? Like feeling, um, really finding that inner harmony. And then the power of that. Again, let's not forget the Nine of Cups here is called Fulfillment of Wishes. And you have the Magician who's helping you to manifest. Excuse me. All right. Bummer. Eight of swords. Flipped itself around in the deck. Um, it's coming over sacrifice, though. So. And, um, interesting, it's my son's birthday, 8-12. Um, to me, it's just a signal that my son is with us. Helping us, you know, helping to bring this reading about. Anyway, so, the Eight of Swords really talks about a self-created prison. This is where one's built up walls, trying to protect oneself, protect one's heart, whatever it may be. Um, and, and, you know, I feel like the eight of swords signifies that I'm not really paying attention to my intuition because if I am paying attention to my intuition, then I know I don't need these walls, you know, self-created prison. So the only person who can uncreate it is you, but I get it. Like I get it. Hmm. We have the wheel destiny over obstacles and challenges but also mirroring that devil but then the death card and then that ace of wands passion ignited you know i feel like the wheel is saying that it's turning so again the energy of like challenges that have been you know it, it kind of feels like Every step I take forward, I get knocked back to. But yet I feel like that's what wants to come to an end. Now, it could be because, again, maybe I've given my energy to someone that I had hoped 
maybe even prayed that, you know, they could overcome their, um, their temptations. But I don't know. I kind of don't feel they do. Um, and I feel like that's why cutting ties them is the best thing I can do. You know, you, you have to understand that your spiritual team knows that you deserve the highest level of love, right? But you also have to be what it is that you want. What I mean by that is if my vibration is low, let's say, and I'm just not believing in anything, I don't believe that, I don't believe that my spiritual team is going to send me signs. Um, I don't believe that there's better out there for me. Well, then that's kind of what the hangman is. I'm kind of stuck in that energy. But the wheel still wants to turn. But I feel like the death card is saying that door, it's important that it be closed so that you can have this rebirth. And again, I feel like the wheel is saying this is a period of time where when you felt like there was, you know, one challenge after another, it feels like that energy is now coming to an end. It could have been like planetary energy. <clears throat> mm, eight of Wands over the Ace of Cups, love begins. You know, Eight of Wands to me, first of all, is what I think about, I bring about. So, another reason to... You know, in a way, believe in miracles. Believe that you can have a good life. You know, put those intentions out there. This reminds me of the law of attraction. Because in a way, again, what I think about, I bring about. Well, it's coming over the Ace of Cups. And it is fast-moving energy. And it's an eight. Eight to me represents a new beginning. And then look at just another eight. So again, we're seeing synchronicities of numbers. Oh, three nines, three nines, two eights, actually three eights. Uno, dos, tres. I could see some of you taking your past experiences, reflecting upon them, to the point where you have real answers. And I could see some of you taking that wisdom that you've been gaining and using it in your everyday life. You know, the Eight of Pentacles to me is an energy where it asks you not to be afraid to go into something as the apprentice. You know, but tell yourself that you will be the master teacher. Eight of Pentacles also answers a question, you know, how do I know that this love that's going to begin is going to be successful? Well, first of all, you got to think about your own energy. You know, have you found this inner harmony? Have you got ties to the people and the things that are just holding you down, holding you back? Are you willing to take a chance on yourself? Remember, these eight stand for new beginnings. One, there's walls up. But I feel like, I feel like you do put these walls down. Um, again, this could be relating to like older energy where you have learned to put these walls down because I feel like you're moving more into the Eight of Wands energy, which is action-oriented. Um, but what I was going to say is the Eight of Pentacles, you know, relating to anything in your life, you know, can it be successful? Will I be successful? It tells you if you're willing to focus on it, then this is what you will grow. By the way, you don't have to have your focus just on one thing. You can have your focus on your money, on your career, 
and see that grow. I feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom from your experiences. You know, now put them to use. It's like you got the ball now, put it to use. Okay. Um, I also love this energy from for those who are working from home. I feel like these challenges or obstacles, again, that may come in front of your money. It feels like you're recouping or, you know, maybe you're starting down a new path that you really wasn't even expecting. Yet something must have piqued your interest. We have the Ten of Wands. Interesting. So the Ten of Wands is mirroring that Eight of Swords. Ten of Wands, um, to me, is energy that just feels too much. You know, it's like where all the responsibility is on my shoulders. And it's backbreaking. It is mirroring justice. So I feel like if this is talking about an old relationship, really any type of energy where... It feels like it was you, right? If it wasn't for you, the whole house would have fell down. Um, but again, it becomes too much. Some of you, it may simply be asking you, you know, do you have a tendency to put like a weight of a relationship on your shoulders? You know, or have has it been like that where it feels like everything has been your responsibility and that's not what you want right you want if there's two people then two people should be actively helping this to evolve let's go right below we have the knight of wands well this knight brings in passion desire it's a fast moving knight it's coming over sacrifice and the eight of swords. So, you know, I feel like if there's still walls up, you're still going to feel this energy. It may just be, what are you going to do with it? You know, judgment saying that there's going to be a rebirth in your life and then that ace of wands passion ignited look at this the knight of cups two knights back to back um but let, let me finish what i was going to say first um so judgment saying there's there there's an opportunity let's say for a rebirth in your life um a new beginning a new a new path um, even if it's something that's old, it's new again. You know, it's it's evolved. If this is talking about anybody that you've previously been with and they're coming back into your life, then they would have evolved. If they haven't evolved, more reason why in the Eight of Swords, again, I'm building up those walls and I'm not trusting my intuition. Well, this is exactly when you need to trust your intuition. Um, so judgment saying, I'm going to activate your heart chakra. I'm going to allow you to start to feel this energy before it even arrives. Knight of Wands, passion coming in. You know, it's mirroring judgment or rebirth, but also the lovers and the three of cups really should bring joy to your heart. And then look at this, the Knight of Cups, unexpected cup of love or fulfillment. And it sits on your wheel. That makes sense when you see soulmates in a reading. Because I feel like as soulmates, we do sit upon each other's wheel. We are destined um, in some way to be together. And, you know, sometimes you don't meet like, let's just say your true love until after you've learned a lot of like life lessons. You know, our souls came down here really to to have these experiences, to learn from these experiences, because the more we learn, the more our soul expands. And that's what we're really here for. 
soul expansion. You know, I often picture us like as souls before we even come into this lifetime. And we don't have doubt. We don't have fear. It's it's an adventure. You know, our souls look at life as an adventure. It knows, our souls know that there's going to be lessons involved. Um, and, and we know that we can overcome them. And then we're born, right? Then we're born, but we're born with amnesia. So... It's trying to figure that all out. And, you know, I feel like this is saying that there's just, there is a love that is just meant to be in your life. But listen, maybe it's after a period of time. It reminds me of like, I had to kiss a lot of frogs before I found my prince or my princess. But here it comes. And I kind of love, um, first of all, that it's coming under the wheel. That your heart chakra is being activated. And then it moves into the Ace of Cups. So it feels like it's coming quickly, which makes sense because it has the eight, the Ace of Cups has the Eight of Wands over it. Fast moving energy. Whoa. Card overboard. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Four of Wands. This is a marriage card. To me, this is true love. This is true love. And it may be love that I haven't even experienced yet. If I'm if I'm comparing old love to this love, it'll be night and day. This talks about two people who truly want to make a commitment to each other, truly want to spend the rest of their lives together. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, it's going to be all roses and rainbows. But these two they don't run when things get difficult. They work them out. Do you know what I mean? Like they appreciate this love so much that there's no way I have to worry that one's going to run out the door. Look at that. The Knight of Cups, unexpected cup of fulfillment. It sits right upon your will. And then it moves into the Ace of Cups. What I think about, I bring about but also fast moving energy and the ace of cups brings out the four of wands, the marriage card, the commitment card. I say it both ways because, you know, not everybody's interested in getting married um, or married again, but look at these nights just coming into this reading. You know, judgment wasn't kidding when it said there's about to be a rebirth in your life but i feel like it's in a few different areas i feel like i feel like you're evolving and therefore your life is evolving i feel like these obstacle obstacles and challenges that you've been through i feel like number one it's you cutting the ties it's you evolving and i feel like one of the clues um i guess would tie back to that seven of swords is probably a previous relationship where it was really me keeping it together. And I just don't want that anymore. Right? Um, and I feel like I feel like you've cut those ties because the Nine of Cups is telling me that at least there's an opportunity to truly find this inner harmony, to like look at life um through an optimistic lens now, after a period of time of difficulty. Look at that, the Ace of Wands again. I mean, holy love. Holy love. So, you know, the Ace of Wands, it's an action-oriented Ace. So I come in. I activate your heart chakra, but then it's going to be up to you whether you take this ace or you don't take this ace.
I wouldn't be surprised if two people, because we are talking about soulmates, if like both both of their heart chakras are being activated, but also you're being guided. Like I love that that you're being guided, and that this really is about bringing joy to your heart. You know, it feels like the lessons are coming. Well, we're always learning, but the difficult lessons are coming to an end. It's like I'm starting to realize that I am the manifester of my life, right? It's the seeds that I'm planting right now, right here, that are going to determine my future, my future harvest. And if I plant no seeds, which I feel is what happens to the Eight of Swords, I'm not really planting seeds, I'm more in a fear-based type of energy, but it's telling you why. Again, the energy of, you know, and it makes sense for you, Cancer, because you are such loving hearts, you know, where you do want to give, but not everyone's going to play your game. Well, I'm not calling you your game. Um, you know what I mean? We have the Five of Swords, and then we have the Six of Cups. Okay, let's slide these over a little bit. So, Five of Swords. You know, anytime you see Five, it's asking you to consider changing it. So, in the Five of Swords, this is when I'm really just looking around. I'm determining who and what is toxic to me. Who and what is holding me back from what I feel like are your true blessings. What's really meant to now come about. And cutting these ties. It's important. And then we have the Six of Cups. Wow. It can certainly be someone that I used to know. But listen, this is someone who... Um, Let's say you already know them, then it'd be someone when you think about them, brings a smile to your face. This is about happy memories, even cherished memories. And I have to say, because I read past lives also, sometimes I do feel like this is past life energy, um, but it could be past life energy that's coming about now. I do not think that I feel like the Five of Swords is relating back to the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and then Justice, the ultimate action. You know, it's like your heart chakra is being activated. Why do I want to give who's ever in this energy a piece of that? Right? This is meant for you. This is meant to bring you joy. And the more I can just, you know, I feel like this is that something we should get in the habit of. Like every once in a while, just stop. Look around. What can I do differently? How can I evolve my energy? Who, you know, it, it can talk about like love that turned toxic. But it can also be people I surround myself with. You know, those who... Maybe they are comfortable in lower vibrational energy because there are people who just prefer to live in that energy, but I don't feel you do. So then we move into the Six of Cups. Hmm. Six of Cups is mirroring the night over here. Let's slide these over a little bit more. I want to make sure you can see them all. Okay, before we move into the Romance Angels, there's a couple things I want to look at. First of all, I feel like I want to go right to this Five of Swords. And I want to know a little bit more about that. Because I feel like, remember, Five asked for change. And I feel like this could, this could hinder 
some of the energy that's really meant to come towards me now. We have the world, a new chapter. That kind of relates back to the death card. Closing that door. And then allowing this new chapter to begin. You know, I love the world's energy. Because I feel like whatever happens in the world's energy is everlasting. Um, it's a very spiritual time. And it's really coming over the hermit. So I like that. Because this is you really finding spiritual clarity. Um, another reason why I don't need to put walls up. I need to trust my own intuition. And then, boy, do I love seeing this right now. So this is you moving away from that Five of Swords. And, you know, Six of Swords, it's temporarily difficult energy. And it's just because, as humans, change can be hard. But this change definitely serves you. So this is you saying goodbye to anything and anyone that's been toxic in your life, that's been holding you back, holding you down, and it's moving you to newer, fresher pastures. Goodbye, toxicity. You know, it's simply saying that I do not want this energy to enter in to this next chapter. It Literally, you're starting a new chapter here. And you have more control over this than you may even think. Because I feel like, again, the hangman, a pause in the action. But I feel like that, that pause is because it may be, you know, it's not always easy to close doors. But it is definitely showing the door that needs to be closed carries a lot of toxicity anyways. That door that needs to be closed if it's not, then it keeps you in that Eight of Swords energy. Well, I shouldn't say that because you can clear that energy at any time. It's just you trusting in your intuition again. You know, ask yourself, you know, let's just say my last love relationship. What was it like? Was it me, the one who was like keeping us together? And they weren't doing their part. And if that's the case, why would I want to continue that? I mean, granted, you may love that person. But at the same time, it's showing us like, hmm. And I'm talking about probably the most recent person. You know, this wheel is getting ready to spin. This is your destiny. It's connected to such beautiful energy. The Knight of Cups, unexpected couple fulfillment. The Four of Wands, it's helping you to see that this really can be a true commitment. And then the Ace of Wands, guided steps. Being guided. So, this Five of Swords, there's no way I wanted to enter in this new chapter with me. And this is you leaving it. This is you saying no more. No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. All right. Um, I just want to look at some of the more difficult energy. And then we'll bring in the romance angel. So I do want to come over and look at the eight of swords. Though, you know, I get it. But I want you to get it. The star. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. Man. Now, does it kind of feel like I'm putting a little obstacle in front of my hopes, my dreams, my wishes? It does. Because, again, that Eight of Swords, can it reach me? Can my dreams really manifest when I have all these walls up? You know, I don't feel this energy goes away. It's just when is the right time? When is the right time? Also card of Aquarius, by the way.
So I feel like I'm either going to allow it or I'm not. But I also want to say I do see the synchronicities between the soulmates, right? Both having the nine of cups energy. So both having the opportunity to fulfill some wishes. Um, but there is a requirement and that requirement is to be in the present moment so that you can be guided but also understanding with the magician there like your power like working hand in hand with divine that's powerful that's when you can really see some dreams coming true and by the way i feel like sometimes we gotta let go of like exactly how they must show or who they must be and instead trust especially with the wheel here that who's ever coming towards me and someone is, that this is of a higher vibrational energy. More reason why, again, you know, that's why I love seeing the Six of Swords over the Five of Swords. So I feel like with the Six of Swords, you must have put these walls down. You know, maybe that was part of the fear, like actual movement. Maybe I wanted to give someone one more time, one more chance. But I feel like they turn around and probably do the same thing again. You have to decide. Is that what I want? Sometimes it's what I think I, I deserve. But your spiritual team would tell you the opposite. You deserve so much more. And using the energy of the magician and even the eight of wands what i think about i bring about again that magician is looking right at the lovers and that has the nine of cups two nine of cups right below it i have a feeling you've been in the energy of reflection for a while and now hopefully you're you're coming to um you're having some real realizations you're closing some real doors and what that do what that's doing is opening up a period of time where you're going to feel blessed you know these feel like they are your blessings but yet again we have to be proactive at the same time all right anything else i want to look at Let's look at the death card. And then I promise I'll bring in the romance angels. But let's look at the death card. The emperor. Heart of Aries. Um, some of you, this could be a father of your, ch your, ch your children or a child. I don't know why I feel like a child. But doesn't mean that they've been perfect. You know, the emperor is normally someone we can look up to. And I feel like I want to take one more. Because something like is this emperor. By the way, I also want to say this is this is great energy here. For especially with the eight of pentacles over the hermit. And then these two nine of cups. This is great. And the magician. This is great energy Let's say for some reason, like I lost a job or cutting ties with someone meant that, you know, I was going to lose some some money, even material items. Well, you'll recoup that. I already know that you'll recoup it plus. Um, but what I was going to say is if that's the case, you just have the most beautiful energy of like doing your own thing, being your own boss. And of cups. Hmm. I kind of feel like that's what's waiting. That's what's waiting on the other side. Again, beautiful energy of working from home. Ten of Cups, the House of Love, the House of Harmony, all sitting upon the wheel. Um, it's interesting because I'm not really feeling this emperor as someone that 
needs to go. I feel like more of this is about what's what lies on the other side of the door. So if this is talking about love through the emperor's energy, again, it is Aries, but but kind of forget that because this is really talking about energy of someone that I can look up to. You know, the emperor is someone who is methodical, but also, um, you know, that reminds me kind of like Capricorn, um, but also someone who has been through a lot, but has learned and now wants to help others. You know, it's just their natural energy feels kind of different than what you are used to. You know, the father figure next to the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Some of you, maybe you're going to be starting a family. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in the Romance Angels. Give them a couple of shuffles. One more. What do I want to look at first? Let's look at the Ace of Cups that has the Four of Wands attached to it. Also the Wheel and Passion Ignited. Chemistry. Well, I have to tell you, when I see the lovers, that's one of the things I think about is the chemistry between the two. It's like undeniable. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Retreat. Wow, so close to the Hermit, I feel like that's what you've done. It's time to disconnect from the world. You know, it's interesting, though, because she looks like she's got a wedding gown on. And it looks like her father is giving her away. We have the father figure. Some of you could certainly represent a father um, as part of your spiritual team, especially with your spiritual team opening up this reading. You know, if your father's crossed over, I could definitely feel that energy. And let's just say a father figure, because for some of you, I feel like it could even be like a big brother. Um, it just feels like someone who would step forward as a guide to help bring me a sense of comfort. And then we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real. And worth exploring. Well, again, we're looking at that Ace of Cups. And we're looking at the Ace of Wands. And just realize we have two Aces back to back here. We're looking at the Four of Wands. Which is a true commitment to someone. The chemistry feels like, especially with two lovers and the soulmates. It feels like the chemistry will just be off the chart. You like there's no denying that. And that's probably why the three cups came out saying that this this actually will bring joy to your heart. So will I allow myself to explore it? I hope so. All right, but let's go over and look at the soulmates where it literally says soulmate union. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. But listen, I feel like this is energy. It's already happened. So I feel like that ties back because the spiritual union is mirroring justice, the cutting of certain ties. And I feel like this is what the death card is talking about. So cutting ties probably from a previous person. But listen, it's also next to the Ten of Wands where it feels like all the responsibility was put on my shoulders anyway. 
and then stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith bring you romance. Well, yes, it will. That, that kind of feels like what your reading is saying. Like the more positive you are in believing that there are certain things that are predestined. Because I feel like this is love that feels predestined. But it also feels like it's about divine timing. You know, like not happening before the right time. But judgment, again, with temperance, which is about patience, judgment is calling you to the present moment. So I feel like whatever energy, like this separation feels like, that ties back to the death card. And then optimism, what I think about, I bring about. Okay, now let's add in the Six of Cups with that. So, again, can talk about someone you already know. Um, but I want to again say that if that's the case, this would, this would not be someone that you have, like, hard feelings about, you know. This would not be the person, I feel like, where... Again, you carry the weight of a relationship. I feel like you're done with that. I just get the sense of like, I'm done. I'm done with that type of love. And maybe that's why the Nine of Cups is like, I'm really in no rush. Right? Because maybe you have cut those ties and you are taking a moment and you are enjoying life being single. Um, and so is someone else. Engagement. Wow. Hello, fast moving energy. I mean, just look at this line down here. The Knight of Wands, fast moving energy, but it's full of passion and desire. Then comes out the Knight of Cups, unexpected cup of fulfillment. Then comes out the marriage card, a true commitment. The Ace of Wands, inspired action. And the Ace of Cups underneath all of that. Love begins. Spiritual union, engagement. Some of you, this may be the person you end up marrying, marrying, especially with the marriage card here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And this is talking about a commitment, spiritual union. This isn't just like we're going to meet, date, see how it goes. I feel like very quickly, you're going to know. Very quickly. Maybe even an engagement happens very quickly. Like, I feel I feel the love with you. And I can just tell you're, you're my person. And yeah, I might have had to have kissed a lot of frogs to find you. But now I see that it was worth it. You know, and I also feel like each one of the soulmates, they had their own experiences that they came into this lifetime to master, let's say. And I feel like both have mastered them, even if you're on your way to that. You know, really what it is, is about finding inner harmony and then manifesting out of that energy. That's the energy of I expect good things to happen. And therefore, they do. So, how quickly this moves, right? Chemistry, no doubt. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And positive thinking about, positive thinking and faith, go back to judgment and temperance, will bring you romance and then engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I mean, let's just look at these two nines of cups, because I feel like this is two people. 
two separate people who are finding themselves in the same vibrational energy. And that, to me, feels like divine timing. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Well, that's kind of what the Six of Cups is. Now, I also want to say, if this is someone you already know, again, I feel like both of these soulmates, I feel like both of them are in a much higher vibrational, let's just say, than the last chapter they've been in. You know, both, I feel like, don't have a problem being single. But at the same time, I feel like your spiritual teams are bringing you together. So I have to tell you, I'm having a hard time feeling it as, well, as um, this lifetime for some reason. We have love yourself first. That's exactly what you're doing in the Nine of Cups. Your self-respect your self -respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then we had a card... Two cards. Look at this. Past life relationship. That is why I kept feeling. Listen, for some of you, of course, you may already know this person. But I did feel the energy of past lives. I felt it. You have known each other before. And you know, one of the ways that you know this is because you're soulmates. It's through the eyes. It's through that feeling you get. It's like, even before I know you, I feel like I know you. And then look at this, true love. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. A lifetime. I had to kiss a lot of frogs to get to this place. But here I am. Here I am. All this passion and love rushing in towards you. But I feel like it all starts, well, with justice, cutting ties. It's like that's what temperance is waiting on. Um, and again, it doesn't even have to be to people. It could just be my own thought system. Maybe it's the Eight of Swords. I'm starting to realize like these walls aren't serving me. So I'm going to put the walls down and instead I'm going to trust my intuition, that first instinct. This is meant to bring joy to your heart. How could it not? How could it not? Now, it doesn't mean that there won't be any worry. But very quickly, I feel, I feel like there's just a recognition of each other's souls. And that feels good enough to me. You know, someone from your past is returning, but then you have past life relationship. And then literally true love. This is true love. This may be why it moves pretty fast as love goes. You know, it is like love at first sight. Or love at first feeling. Interesting. All right. Let's just do one more. And let's go up to the lovers up here with the hangman in the paused act in the paused energy. You know, the star to me again about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But you also have to believe that they come true. And you're going to understand that it is you working hand in hand with divine, right? Like, like these dreams, these wishes, they are all possible. But it is, it does take certain energy to get to that point, right? Who's ever toxic 
you got to go. You don't belong in my life anymore. Whoever couldn't love me, you know, in the way I deserve, you got to go. Who's ever just very comfortable living in lower vibrational energy? Well, that's not you anymore. So they got to go. This is about you finding inner harmony and then watch what happens. All right. We have worth waiting for coming over the hangman, but also the lovers. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then we have flirt, playful. You know, it reminds me of the sun, playful, inner child, like enjoying the moment, enjoying the flirting. And I feel like this is, you know, let's say you're not a great flir flirter, which I'm not. Um, this feels like energy that's just going to come natural. I don't feel like there's anything here where you have to push this, you know, to come about. Um, I don't feel like there's any energy here where I have to, you know, where I'm going to have to teach someone how to love. No. I'm done with that. There doesn't feel like any energy here um, of new, anything that's going to be new that I need to worry about. Quite the opposite. I feel like you've been through this difficult period and now that's coming to an end. But I do have to allow it. It makes me look at this emperor again, because at first I wasn't sure, is this emperor someone that needs to, you know, be swept out? Or is this someone that's coming in? And I feel more this is someone that's coming in. <clears throat> Though I do have to say, I also feel for some of you, this is your uh, a spirit guide. Again, a father figure, um, a big brother an uncle, someone I feel like you've known in this lifetime. It can be an ancestor, um, you know, because there's unconditional love in heaven for you. But I do feel like someone is stepping forward to help you. And that's what your guides are here for, to help you, to help you live the best life you can. But they know that you also have free will. So, you know, it's no wonder, like, we're seeing the Ace of Wands, where passion is being ignited, where I'm feeling. Maybe in that, maybe that's all I'm saying. It's like, I'm starting to feel, you know, that the energy is changing, the tide is turning, something good is coming in for me. And lo and behold, I mean, to me, this is a love that I feel like you will be with for the rest of your life. Um, now, I do have to consider free will. That's why I don't do predictions. I do uh, potentials because, you know, your free will will determine a lot of this. You know, your free will on whether I'm going to close the door to um, just, I'm just going to say lower vibrational energy, whatever that consists of for you. Am I going to allow this will to now spin? Remember that hangman kind of putting a pause in the action? but also seeking wisdom. So I feel like the hangman's receiving that wisdom. And I love that worth waiting for talks about divine timing, working in your love life. Well, here is divine. Here is temperance who she is literally mixing the waters of the soulmates, making sure that both soulmates are equally filled both their cups. And I feel like that's what's tying us back to that nine of cups each separately finding inner harmony within themselves and maybe even some becoming single, you know, using that little scissor action. Um, but that's so, listen, I don't feel like I, if I'm becoming single, I don't feel like I'm doing it so that then love can enter in. Maybe I want to spend a little bit of time in that single mode. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. 
Um, because again, I feel like you're finding this inner harmony. I feel like the rest will just find you. Like, I don't feel like there's much you need to do except consider what chapter needs to close. Consider whether you've built up walls and why, right? You have to know why so that you're able to put them down. And I feel like for some of you with your such loving hearts, it just feels to me like you are someone who, um, you know, I don't feel like you give up on love. Like you, you try everything you can, but I feel like you have tried everything. And you've actually put taken all the responsibility on your shoulders. I definitely feel like there is someone or maybe more than one person who, again, just feels comfortable living in their layer of vibrational energy. It's what I choose. Well, that's fine. But you choose it for you, not for me. I feel for some of you who you're you know you want to start a family this may be your time you know i'm not going to say right away but i definitely feel like the emperor is also representing the father figure here now that can also be mother don't get me wrong it could be either depending if you're a male or female or you know um but listen this is about your dreams becoming your reality and your power to bring them about. You know, definitely showing us that you have not been in an easy cycle, but that cycle now coming to an end. I don't want you to forget about the sun because when the sun is out in a reading, it is your illuminator. It's like your intuition is going to be super strong. And you can really trust in it. I also feel like it's the ability to bring out that playfulness within yourself. You know, flirting, enjoying. And then I feel like, and then engagement, and then probably marriage. This is true love. These feelings are real. You've known each other before. It definitely was worth waiting for. And divine timing is at work in your love life. Yes, divine timing is. But listen, even divine timing can't cross your free will. And that is what ties me back to that eight of swords. Even the hangman's energy, but the hangman is seeking wisdom. Right? Like, give me the wisdom I need to take on this physical plane. Like, I'm, I'm seeking spiritual wisdom, but to use on this earthly plane. Wow. I feel like your guides are being very clear here. All right. Let's bring in Mother Mary. Like, I don't want to overread this because I feel like it's very clear. Will you or won't you? The choice will be yours. All right. Mother Mary. Well, that didn't take long. Devotion. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I am clear about what to do next. Devotion. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I am clear about what to do next. Forgiveness. Mm. This is a hard energy, but let me tell you, it's so worth it. I am willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. You know, to me, it just simply means I'm not going to stay angry or hateful or mad at those who couldn't love me, who didn't love me right, who maybe even cheated on me. I'm not picking up the phone, calling them, saying, hey, by the way, I forgive you. 
I'm forgiving within my heart. It just means I'm not willing to carry that energy forward with me. I am willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. All right, let's see if anything else wants to come out. I just had a feeling. Be strong. Be strong, my beautiful Cancers. I pull myself up and do what needs to be done. And then inner child, well, that relates right back to the sun. That's what I was feeling. This is a period of time to allow that inner child to come out. Have some fun. Do a little flirting. Fall in love. You know what I mean? Create that business. Like, do what feels good to you. Inner child. I nurture the child within me through playfulness and self-care. So devotion, forgiveness, be strong, and allow that inner child to come out. And then the rest will just follow. Cancer. What a reading. What a reading. Um, and I know not everyone's looking for a love reading. I get that. And this is not just a love reading. This is really about life and how my life can get better. Right? If I if I never look around and see who and what is toxic to me, what keeps me, what holds me back then how do I ever move forward, right? Because free will is free will. But I feel like the minute I start moving, you know, towards, let's just say, lighter energy, I feel like the rest just opens up for you. There is nowhere where I feel like you need to control this. This is about controlling yourself. And then the rest opens up. It just is. It just sits on the wheel. It's the right time. It is divine timing. It is a rebirth. And again, you're being called into the present moment. Wishes coming true. You have three energies that talk about wishes coming true. The emperor with the ten of cups, the nine of cups, and the hermit. Beautiful energy of working from home. Being successful. Some of you, if you're in, like, let's say, a state of, I don't know, sadness or hurt, sometimes, like, getting, moving into your creative house can be your savior. You know, like, I'm going to stop focusing on the things that have gone wrong, and instead I'm going to focus on, you know, the things that I've always wanted to bring to the world, my dreams, my wishes, and it's time for me to allow them to find me. What sits on my wheel? And when is divine timing? Well, divine timing sometimes is waiting on us. But the power in this reading with the magician right by temperance, looking at the lovers, and the wheel, it just feels like this is a destined time. You know, I feel like this is going to move quickly. I feel like all things are going to move quickly. Like if I'm concentrating on building a new business, I feel like very quickly I'm going to start to see the fruits of my labor. I feel like your interest is going to be peaked if you're starting something new. And just follow that. See if your interest keeps getting peaked. You know, that's what brought me to Chirrell. It like peaked my interest and then I just kept following it. And now this is what I do for a living. So this is about life, but this is about love. And um, it may have taken some time for you to get to this point. But, you know, sometimes I feel like soulmates True soulmates, true love sometimes doesn't come in until each soul has learned certain lessons. You know, each soul came into this lifetime to learn 
their individual lessons. And then when they come together, they can really help each other. They are the mirror to each other. And past life relationship. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, it seems very clear to me. I hope it's clear to you. Um, and I know there's going to be different reactions to this. You know, some are just going to be like, there's no way I want love. You know, there's no way I want someone to come back. And for, you know, I don't feel that that strongly. Now, for some of you, it can be someone that you already know. But again, if that is the case, it would be someone that you have happy memories about. Not destruction. But when you see soulmates, think of past lives. Because you've known each other for eternity. It's just now feels like the right time. The tides are turning. And they're turning in your favor. Will you let it be? I love you guys. Thank you in the million ways you help support me. Um, I couldn't do this without you. I wouldn't even want to do it without you. So thank you. My prayer for you is that this, this finds you with as little restriction as possible. And instead, that this energy just flows. Don't forget your power in this, though. Because that's a big thing, like your power in manifesting really a good or great life is very strong. So I'm going to let that be. I love you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time at our table. Some of you, um, you may want to check out Capricorn's reading. There are some certain synchronicities, um, but, you know, I'll leave that up to you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.